Okay, so you've got the key over here, and this is uh, trying to find the answers to uh, problems that you've been encountering recently. Um, and, um, you know, you are dealing with a lot of people at the moment. So you've got the garden over here, or the park, um, and this is having appointments or, you know, dealing with large groups of people, uh, communicating uh, your ideas to a lot of people. So you might be going through to some kind of seminar, or you could be um, going to some kind of event that involves a lot of people. And it looks like, you know, in this event you might find some answers to some questions that you've been asking uh, there's some solutions to your problems within this event or this meeting that you're going through and then you've got the lilies over here which is dealing with uh, you know um, family issues this could be people that are older than you in your family and you're having some kind of uh, dealings or um, uh, something happening with them it might be some kind of problems that you're dealing with as far as that goes so, so come, some kind of family issues that you're dealing with so in the past, you've got the fame card over here, the moon, and uh, this is about, you know, getting recognition for whatever you've been doing, finding, uh, you know, a lot of answers using your intuition. Um, this is about, um, you know, uh, it's really a, a good omen card. So you've had something coming in, uh, maybe some kind of revelation coming in. Maybe you've had a dream or some kind of insight that came into you in the past. And then you've got the star card over here, and this is a card about success. So both of them, getting recognition and getting a lot of success uh, with these cards. And this has happened in the past. So going into the future, you've got the clove over here, and this is talking about some good luck coming in for you. Um, maybe a new job, maybe uh, some money coming in, but some kind of luck comes in, and it's, all, it's very, very sudden when it comes in. And if you're in dealing with any problems, if you're dealing with these family issues that you have over here with this Lily's card, it looks like it will die off. Uh, you've got the Flames card over here, which shows that any kind of problems uh, that you have uh, will sort themselves out. Um, you just have to have a little bit of patience. Uh, it, you know, it will, it will sort itself out, um, and um, um, you know, you come out of it quite victorious. It's all burning itself out over here. You can see with the flames. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using Barbara Walker's tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom, you've got the Pope over here. And, uh, you know, this is um, maybe you've been um, getting some kind of advice, uh, seeking some kind of expert advice recently uh, or looking for answers. Maybe you've been going on the Internet um, and, you know, doing some research as well. So the Pope is, uh, you know, ruled by uh, Taurus. It could be involving your money. It could be financial advice that you're seeking or seeking uh, things about money or even health um, because that uh, this card also rules health or institutions. Um, so um, this is actually, um, you know, getting that advice um, of, from people, from experts. So that could well be the case. Or going and asking for advice, really. So what's happening with you? You've got the moon card over here, and it's crossed by the two of cups. So there is some kind of relationship that you're dealing with. It's got the romance... It's, um, title on it um, <coughs> uh, but um, it's got um, Venus in um, um, cancer over here so showing that you are dealing with some kind of um, uh, problems or kind, some kind of issues or some kind of relationship matters of the heart should I say so this could be well your relationship and you're feeling a bit depressed about it because you've got the moon card over here um, and this is crossing this card is crossing the moon card so something about that relationship that you're in is um, making you very very upset or it's um, you know giving you a bit of um, pause for thought if you like uh, you know you have some uh, you've been thinking very deeply about it um, you know there might be some problems or some issues that you are dealing with at the moment um, you know um, and it's depressing you. Uh, there's no clarity because the moon doesn't bring clarity. Uh, it brings a lot of um, fears and, um, you know, you have expectations that are not very, very realistic. So you, you're, you're focusing a lot on that relationship that you're having and you're, you're thinking very deeply about it as well. It, it could be giving you nightmares and keeping you up at night as well. So you're, you're pretty um, upset about it, maybe a bit depressed about it.
So in the past year, you've got the accomplishment card, which is the Nine of Pentacles, uh, showing that you've been working very, very hard. You've been very, very focused on your uh, on your job, and you have um, been putting a lot of effort and energy into this particular thing. You really enjoy it quite a bit, uh, and you want it to produce um, a lot of uh, rewards, uh, because, um, you know, and you're very... Um, Virgo is a card of being very focused um, and, you know... Um, a lot of research and, uh, you know, paying attention to the small details of it, being very meticulous within your work. So you've been working pretty hard at it. And you can see, you know, there, you, there's blossoms on this tree over here. So things are, uh, you know, growing and you're waiting for to have some rewards from it. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is also about financial independence. And maybe, you know, um, you, uh, you're reaching that point where you're able to afford things and uh, really enjoy um whatever it is you're earning. But this is also kind of feeling a bit lonely as well. So, you know, you've been uh, putting all your effort and energy into this um, job and maybe this has uh, been affecting your um, uh, love life as well. And this is maybe why you've got this uh, this moon card uh, and it's got the two of cups crossing it. So maybe you're yearning for a, a relationship because you've been spending so much of time focused uh, on accomplishing your goals. Um, you haven't had time for uh, romance or, um, you know, getting out there and, and meeting somebody. Now, you've got the Emperor card over here. So this is taking control and being in charge and, uh, you know, uh, sorting things out, being very, very um, organized um, in whatever you've been doing. So maybe you've even taken on some kind of leadership role in the work you're doing. The Emperor card could also signify dealing with any kind of legal circumstance. So there might be some kind of judgment or some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with as well. And that's been going on for the last three months. So what's in your mind? You've got the Five of Swords. And this is feeling very defeated. This is what you're feeling. You're feeling um, maybe isolated, neglected. You can see, uh, you know, left out of the situation because this person's right on the top of the tree over there and everybody's having fun at the bottom of here. So uh, maybe you feel that, you know, you are being excluded from a group, or excluded from company or feeling very isolated, left out um, of the crowd, left out by people. Um, and that is, um, you know, that's upsetting you. So what's on your mind? You've got the Three of Swords over here. So you're pretty much pretty depressed about something at this particular moment. Um, you know, it could well be this relationship. There might have been problems with the relationship. Maybe this is the reason why there's the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is like, you know, um, about somebody taking advantage of you. So there's something, maybe there was an argument that was that happened within that relationship that has caused you to feel, uh, you know, defeated, uh, feel as though, you know, maybe the maybe there was a breakup within that relationship because you've got the three of swords and that is crying over the breakup. And, um, you know, um, this is talking about severing or, or detaching. So maybe, uh, you know, there has been a breakdown of, of communication between you and the person that you were involved in. Um, with Saturn over here, Saturn usually cuts things off and, uh, you know, you've been, uh, and this is about cutting, you know, communication, um, uh, uh, Libra is about um, trying to find that balance and you have you feeling a bit out of balance at this moment and uh, you know it's a card of sorrow so crying over this uh, loss of communication or loss of this relationship that you're going through so what's happening with you you've got the five of wands over here which is Saturn in uh, Leo and you know this is talking about uh, having no confidence or feeling as though um, you know um, it's, this card says impasse, which means that whatever problems you and this person that you're dealing with in this relationship, you'll have reached a point where, you know, you can't seem to move forward at all. And you are feeling very victimized. You can see this person has been tortured by the people around him. So we reached a point where there's been lots of arguments and you'll reach a point where you can't seem to to um, reconcile your differences. And you're dealing with, you know, um, this could be even about physical violence because the Wands card is about physical things. So, you know, there's been a lot of arguments and fights and violence maybe within this relationship. And, um, you know, it's been very distressing and it's been very, um, it's very, been very hard. Um, Saturn is um, a planet that gives you, um, uh, makes everything difficult really. And since it's in Leo, it's affecting your self-confidence as well. So this person might be saying things or doing things uh, that is making you feel very depressed or is, uh, you know, affecting how you uh, you see yourself um, and how you, um, you know, it affects your ego rather. 
um, so this person is making you feel really uh, insignificant and and this is what they're saying or the, the things that they're doing and it also seems as though you know everybody's ganging up against you as well that's how you're feeling at this particular moment it, it looks like there's some kind of choice that you have to make as well. You've got these two bowls and they've got blood in them. So there's some kind of important decision you, you have to make at this particular point. So you have to decide whether or not you're going to sit there and take all the abuse that you've been going through or you're going to leave. And you're at that particular point where whatever has happened to you has brought you down to your knees. Um, you know, and you are feeling very victimized or you're feeling very isolated because everybody, nobody seems to be uh, standing up for you at this particular moment. Everybody seems to be almost against you here. Uh, and that's how you're feeling and within this relationship. Now, you've got the devil card over here. So this person that you're involved in seems to be very controlling. You've got um, them being uh, people who humiliate you, take advantage of you, use you to do things uh, and, you know, um, and keep you very restricted um, you know, um, maybe they, these, this person is somebody who, um, you know, watches your every move, watches what you're doing all the time and has tabs on you, keeps tabs on you all the time. So you're dealing with that kind of person. And it could be a Capricorn person that you're dealing with because the devil is a sign ruled by Capricorn. So, um, or it could, yeah, it, it could be other, uh, other earth signs, but it's basically, um, you know, the Capricorn energy is coming through. A very restrictive, limiting kind of energy coming through. And you've got the Seven of Swords over here. So you're trying to put up a fight. Uh, you know, you're very defensive uh, with the Seven of Swords here. Trying to walk away from a situation that is not serving you. Uh, maybe you feel as though this person has even lied and cheated. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, it's always about deception. So, you know, dealing with this person. They say one thing and they do something else. So, you know, and you're feeling very, very... You can see this woman sitting with her hands crossed across her chest. So feeling very defensive trying to put up a fight against this particular person. And going to the future, you've got the world card, the prince of uh, pentacles and the papers. So the world cards is showing that whatever is going on over here, the cycle is about to end. So this relationship that you're going through has reached its natural end. Uh, you've got the three of swords showing about a breakup or detachment from that particular situation. And you know, you've got the five of swords on your mind. So, you know, this person has been very nasty to you and has done some really nasty things. You can see this man is crucified over here and there's lots of swords in this tree. This tree is bare. So whatever was going on in that relationship was not productive and it was detrimental to your health. And nobody is helping you out in this particular situation. They're getting on with their lives. These women are uh, weaving um, uh, thread here or they're, they're making cotton <laughs> according to the story from the card. And, uh, you know, they, they've all let you uh, um, up to dry. You know, it's your... Uh, and you're, you're in a position, in a place where, you know, you feel very, very um, unsatisfied, unproductive. You feel that there's quite a lack. That relationship was lacking in something. But there was also a lot of harsh things that were said, or a lot of nastiness that was said. Now, the world card is saying that, you know, this is the end of that cycle. And this is also a card ruled by Saturn. So that means that that cycle is now finished and done with, and it is time for you to detach from it. It is time for you to move uh, on. If it was a karmic um, situation, this uh, particular relationship is now karmically ending. Because this is a major arcana card and it's showing that, you know, whatever uh, you've been dealing with has now reached its natural conclusion. And then you've got the Prince of Pentacles over here. So this is now you're going to have to, uh, you know, focus on your work. So this is focusing on your work and trying to manifest, uh, you know, uh, material abundance. Um and, you know, the Prince of Pentacles is like, uh, you know, the, uh, the, um, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is working hard and moving away from that situation. So um, whatever happened within that relationship, you're going to have to refocus and um, focus your, your, your energies on your work, on studying, on acquiring knowledge. Um, and, you know, even with a Hierophant card, um, it's a card ruled by Taurus. And it's also about learning uh, and learning lessons that have happened so this is about learning or even changing whatever your values used to be into something different it's uh, you know uh, letting go of the past not being stuck in the old um, ideals that you had but moving forward and moving forward because you acquire new knowledge 
And this Prince of Pentacles is talking about learning something new. Whatever happened in this relationship was a learning experience for you. Now you have to change your focus, take all these things that you learned, leave that past behind and move forward. And then you've got the papers over here. This is also about education and learning. So there might be a new course and study that is coming in. This is also about keeping all your secrets to yourself and not speaking, uh, you know, divulging all your inner, you know, inner secrets or your whatever insights you've had. Keep them and learn from them. Uh, and this is about using your intuition. So uh, Pisces has got very, very strong intuition. And uh, it's a very spiritual sign. So this is about acquiring spiritual knowledge as well. So it looks like there might be some studying or learning uh, coming in for you here. And this is also refocusing on your work. Um, so whatever it is, it has reached its final conclusion, its natural end. It looks like with the Three of Swords, the communication is now broken down between the two of you. You are feeling lonely, isolated, in the dark about a lot of things. There might have been other people that were involved in it, um, but it is time to let this go and regain your balance. And it seems like you know a lot of people were against you uh, in the circumstance, but it seems to be uh, have been a very aggressive situation to be in. And you've reached an impasse with this person. There doesn't seem to be any way forward with this particular person they seem to be very very dominating with this devil card over here uh, you know taking um, control over you keeping you in the dark keeping you under subjugation and you know you are trying to fight back with this opposition card and seven of swords but there is a lot of deception as well going on over there because the seven of swords is talking about deception so it is and you know the moon card as well talking about lies and deceit and deception as well there's blood around the moon over here. So whatever they've got to say has hit you very, very deeply. Um, you know, and you are very miserable about the whole circumstance. So it's it's all to do with this relationship that you're going through. You need to get some uh, advice with this Pope card. It's about getting some spiritual advice as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the animal um, tarot. So the first card is release, which says it's time to release the past and move to something new. Uh, this ending is the first step on the way to future happiness. So it's important with this um, card. This is the death card usually in the tarot, and it's talking about releasing that situation and moving forward. You can see this peacock's got beautiful um, uh, feathers uh, and there's a butterfly over here so something beautiful is coming in for you and this is a transformation the the rose has fallen um you know um it's it the rose has got two things got thorns in it even though it's so beautiful so even even though you thought that relationship was wonderful it's something that wasn't it caused a lot of pain and hurt so it is time to let it go and move forward and you've got the Ten of Winter. This is another ending of a cycle because tens are about endings. And the end of a career path project or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears uh, about these changes and trust that there is a brighter future. So this is definitely the end of a relationship and you're going to have to let go of it and move on. Uh, something better is coming in for you. Then you've got the three of winter over here. Sadness is part of life, but you don't have to enjoy it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work uh, your way through your emotions, you will be stronger than before. So the three of winter is, um, you know, almost like the three of swords over here. You're working through this problem. You need to let go of it. There's a new cycle of the moon coming, and there are people around you. You can see th these birds together that will give you that support that you need. So there's somebody that you can speak to about it. And you need to let go of it and move on because it is detrimental uh, to your health. It will be detrimental to your psyche as well. So you need to let go of this uh, this um, old relationship. It's, a, it's come to its natural conclusion. Refocus on your work. Um, and you know if you have to go back and do, learn something new, like do a new course or take on a new hobby, but learn something new, that will help you shift that focus of depression onto something more positive. So it will convert that negative energy into positive energy. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.